Guess what? We still got a lot of camos to get. In our last video, our top comment was from Cam saying he wants us to get the Krieg Gold Viper. So today, that's what we're going to be doing. And we talked about this in the last video about how we found some crazy weapon level XP method. And what we were doing was hopping into Outbreak with four players, a full party. I put on a double weapon XP token that I got from the Battle Pass that was gifted me by Easy in our stream. So thank you again, Easy. But we were literally just hopping in there. I got my Krieg from level one to max level in one and a half games of Outbreak. So we played a full game of Outbreak. I got it to 41 and then we played for the first wave basically. The first wave on Outbreak and got that up to 50. So four players, Outbreak, double weapon XP. You can get your weapon almost to max level in like an hour. So it's, it's pretty good. So since we did do it in Outbreak, we have more camos to get than usual. We have 1,300 kills with the Creek to get. Uh, basically 2,000 crits to get. A, a lot of pack punch camos. Vintage is done. Fauna is done topo we're almost there and we just unlocked infection so we should be able to knock infection out pretty easy but let's go ahead and put our attachments on i'm going with the cobra red dot per usual also going to go with the socom eliminator we're going to go with the cavalry lancer barrel ember sighting point bruiser grip 50 round mag we'll go with the speed tape and the sas combat stock and i think that's good but first let's change the reticle to apex and we'll keep bringing fire on i think i think that uh that should be solid and really quick since we did hit 100k i did promise to do a broom tour we will be doing that once my plaque comes in we're going to be doing the, the play button unboxing as well as the room tour. So it might take a while to get here, but I promise I did not forget about it and I will be doing it. Also, Cam asked us to play on Forsaken. So, you know, twist my arm. Let's hop on some Forsaken. Here we go. This time, this is probably the most camos we had to get so far on this account in one game. Oh, I didn't upgrade any of my tiers. I'm sure I have a lot of crystals too. But I feel like what we need to upgrade, we probably don't have enough for. I think I just need like flawless crystals to get tier five on stuff, but I'm not that close. But I desperately need dead shots. So let's start up the portal, get a few kills while we're waiting. Hopefully we can get a pack a punch. I say this every time, but pack a punch is going to be so important, especially since we need a lot of the pack a punch kills. But I'm excited that we get to go back to a full auto weapon, the sniper, the Pellington, even though we did kind of cheese that spot out, uh, it was still tough, especially that I didn't know the level up method until like very late into me grinding it. But now that we know we can level up weapons super easy and that we got double weapon XP coming this weekend, we might be able to max out a few guns. So make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below on what weapon you want to see me use next and also what map you want to see me play on. But remember, this CRG's banned, and I am not doing it in Outbreak. I'll probably get some camos in Outbreak since that's how we're leveling it up, but I'm not about to get them all. It will take way too long. Ring of Fire. Kind of had to use it out of necessity because I cornered myself, and I'm already down. Great. What a, what a good start. What is this? Armor. We'll take that. I guess I'll pick up a molly. Get a few more kills while our double points are still active. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, a scare package. Chalice, please. No chalice. Weak. Let's grab our loose change here. Might as well grab jug sensor right here as well. Pop this open. This time I'll head in through quick revive since we're going to need that. Grab this loose change. I wonder if that uh, that glitch works on this bridge. Isn't this the same type of bridge? I want to open this up and see if it works. Let's see if it's just the way the bridge is designed. Nope, they're coming right at me. So that means the other bridge could easily get patched. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, let's go through. Shut up, pack. Grab this loose change. Grab the part. Get the coin, even though we're probably not going to use it. Oh, we actually don't have that many points. So let's try to get a few kills here. I want to be able to open the door and go get dead shot. What I find really annoying about the aim assist is that I, I know they somehow have to give you incentive to get dead shot. But when I aim in, it just locks to their chest, which is kind of annoying. So let's try to just knock out some crits while we're also getting points. Bonus points. That helps. Anyone want to drop a jack o' lantern for me, please? No? Okay. We are out of ammo, but we have enough money now. Let's open this. There's our old TV. We'll open this. Grab the loose change and dead shot. So now we're all good. But we're going to need a little more money to open the rest of these doors. Okay, we can open this one, but we're going to need to save up to get our flashlight. Oh, we got a ring of fire, so it should be pretty easy. Okay, actually, we need to buy ammo first. Good thing we opened Burger Town. Give me that. I'll sit right in front of the door. Ring of fire. Not that many zombies around, honestly. We better pick up the pace. Corrosion camo, let's go. Already almost done with our jackrabbits. And that's a round. And now we have enough to open this door. Where's the flashlight? Oh, he's holding it. Look at this. Shameless. Right in front of her, too. All right, let's build our portal. Put the parts in. Please don't hit me. Here we go. Let's get some kills real quick. Let's get our ring of fire going. Because we don't have pack a punch or any tears. So the abomination is going to be a little harder to kill this time. Might as well have a ring of fire to help us out. No pumpkins. I haven't seen a single one yet. Oh, as soon as I say it, there's one right here. What you got for me? Brain rot. Come on, dude. I'm not going to pick it up. Not doing it. Hello, boys. There we go. That's all of them. Might as well sit right here until we're done with our ring of fire. We'll hang out with the boys for a bit. Oh, no. Get off me. I think that was a max ammo. No, get off. Move. 
I can't go down. I'm not going down. Bring a fire again. Oh, we wasted it. This has been a struggle so far. I don't even know why. We're just making some boneheaded moves. I guess we can just pop the door open and take our chances with the abomination. This thing's probably gonna kill me. Actually, I got quick revive. I'm fine. Knock on wood. Shooting it right in the ass. Get a few crits here. Let's hit him while his mouth is purple. Oh, no. Nope. Went away. Okay. Still very few pumpkins. This is... Our drop rates are have been falling exponentially. Every video we do, seems like there's less and less pumpkins. And then when there is pumpkins, we get mimics out of it. There we go. Some nice damage on the abomination. He only has one head left, I'm pretty sure. Let's change that to none. No, please don't knock me. No lasers. No lasers. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Here's what we do. Eat a molly. And I'm going to punch him. Let's go. We actually punched him to death. I didn't want to buy ammo because I know he was going to drop a max ammo. Got to save money where we can. Let's hit the button. We might actually have to buy Pack-A-Punch for the first time in like forever. But the second I buy it, a chalice is going to spawn. So might as well do it. And then we'll get Cryo as well. Let's go get Speed Cola. I saw somebody say that they're angry that I went to the, the perk machines instead of going to the Wonder Fizz. Guess what? I'm going to the perk machines again. And I'm spending extra money doing it. What are you going to do about it? Grab the loose change and buy it. Let's take out a few of these guys and see if we can swing a self-revive. I actually don't think we have enough. Well, how much is it? 250 What's in here? Of course, a chalice. Oh, a silver one. Let's go. Pack two. Oh, I didn't show pack one first. I'm sorry, guys. I guess we'll just have to take out this mimic to make up for it. Come on. Drop me some blue salvage, please. Oh, double points. That helps. What about this bridge? Does this bridge work? Oh, an aether tool. We'll take that. Let's see. I'll stand right here. The zombies get stuck. It does not look like it. They're running right at me. Drop with the camo. Okay, we finished the round. I think we're just gonna be a little short. Oh no, we can get it. It's 250. We got 260. Let's go. But here is pack a punch two on the Krieg. It's a Blix Krieg 99. Pretty nice. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'll be a good boy. I'll do Rampage Inducer first. We're back at the starting area. Let's start. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's get loose change and death perception first so we can start getting scrap and start the rampage inducer i like how immediately all the zombies start spraying like, they take no time to think about what just happened like the rampage inducer just pisses them off so much and now we can start grinding out these crits and then once we're done with our rampage inducer or maybe let's go until like round 26 here at round 26 we'll go to the bridge i think that's that's fair oh my god i'm kind of foaming at the mouth just thinking about sitting on the bridge wait hold on bloodshed camo What's up, bloodshed camo? But I'm foaming at the mouth, thinking about sitting at the bridge and popping a ring of fire with just all the zombies sitting there in a group that can't touch me. Like, it's gonna be so satisfying. Examination camo? Didn't we already unlock that? Am, am I stupid? Pretty sure we already unlocked that. There's our boundary camo. Aether tool. There's another silver chalice. Level two armor. We don't need it. Now we're getting pumpkins. Maybe they lowered the rates for lower rounds because now we're getting them. It's just so nice to use a fully automatic weapon. The Pellington, the, the time in between shots is just too slow to be grinding zombies. Zombies. I felt like snipers should have been less kills. Oh, there's our glitch camo. Another silver chalice. Not bad. Keep dropping those pumpkins. The quicker we get a gold chalice, the better. That's the kill. Might as well. We'll save ammo that way. And a double points. Easy. What we got in this? An aether tool. We'll keep taking those. We're already at pink. There's an abomination right here. That's invisible. So I'm gonna ring a fire. Take out all the zombies while I can. Why are you still invisible? Stop being invisible. Okay, he's dead. Now he's really invisible forever. There's our conviction camo and the round. Oh, I need to get mule kick. I always remember it only when I run out of ammo. So many silver chalices. Oh, we found some ammo on the ground. We're chilling. Oh, more double points. Not very necessary, but you can never have too many points. Double points and bonus points. Easy thousand. I swear if I would have grinded camos on a controller on my main account, I would have had dark aether in like two days. Because all my weapons were already leveled up. All I needed to do was LT tap and I'd be golden. We only got two more rounds of the Rampage Inducer or one. I can't remember. I know it ends at 21, but that's 20. Yeah, 20 counts is around. I'm stupid. Max ammo. We take those and insta kill. What a treat. Disciple. Get out of here. Rampage Inducer is so easy now. I feel like if I have any kind of automatic weapon or a even snipers, I survived it with a Pellington. At first, it was difficult because I didn't have a whole lot of uh, experience with sprinters. But now you can just kind of knock it out. It's basically just a round accelerator. Oh, gold chalice. Let's go. Back three. We'll keep a flamethrower on me and we can get this to legendary. Let's go. Our gun's fully maxed out. And this is... Oh, wait. That's a jack-o'-lantern. This is not what it looks like. Stop. Stop. Love it. This is what the Krieg looks like with pack three here on uh, Forsaken. Pretty clean. I like this a lot. This came out so nice. And we're back to getting crits. My Rampage Inducer is over, by the way. So we'll sit here for five more rounds. We'll get to the Joe round. And then we're going to the bridge because that's just going to be so much faster. Double points. Oh, what's up, Abomination? Ring of Fire. Hit him in the mouth and he's gone. Four more rounds to go. Disciple. 
leave. Okay, so when we were doing the Pellington and I was talking about how long it took to level everything up, I was feeling like this challenge is going to be near impossible to get Dark Aether before Vanguard comes out. But now that we can kind of like fully level up a weapon in like an hour, like not even, I feel like I, I have hope again. Like we can actually do this. I just have to stay on top of it. Also, there's our drench camo. Oh, Mimic. Come on, dude. You don't want the smoke. But as long as I keep doing that to level my weapons up, we're going to be, we're going to be golden. I kind of want to do the snipers as fast as possible, just in case that Forsaken, like the, the spot on the bridge, if that gets patched, that's going to make doing snipers so much worse. I might just start leveling my snipers anyways oops i didn't mean to hit that all right let's check 896 eliminations 772 crits that's not bad at all i love how close our crits are to eliminations now that we play on controller it's just it feels so much more efficient so i feel like i have pretty decent aim on keyboard and mouse but there's no way i'm snapping the heads as like as nice and as accurately as, as deadshot does here with the controller definitely such a, a nice quality of life change we're trying to grind like every weapon in this game but also i think after this we're only one ar away from plague diamond and i think our next weapon is the ffar because i go off of whatever the top comment was like two videos back almost so i'm going off of this was the qbz video and next video is going to be the ffar unless the top comment changes in between now and then so make sure while you're going down there to leave your weapon suggestions if somebody has recommended the the weapon that you wanted to just drop a like on their comment as well because whatever is the highest vote is the one that we always go off of because i seem to see a lot of like duplicates like some weapons could have been the weapon of the week because of the amount of people commenting it but it just wasn't top comment also ray gun oh megaton what an unfortunate spawn for you idiot we're just clapping these zombies absolutely destroying them i'm basically single firing this krieg right now i'm just aiming and tapping and we're just hitting domes oh and we leveled up let's go are these are last two zombies in the round i think they are let's get our ray gun triple packed let's open these jack-o-lanterns another ray gun and another chalice all right i'm gonna go grab the rest of my perks then we're going on the bridge and we're gonna fly through these camels i want to see how fast we can get them let's grab phd since we're right here let's do a quick tony hawk ready tony hawk wait i wasn't even sprinting tony hawk there we go. Kind of weak, but we'll try it again. What is up with this? One more. Tony Hawk! Okay, we'll take that one. Got a little more distance. So we need Mule Kick. We need Stamina Up. And that's it. Everything else, we're fine. All right, let's try one more Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk! Nope. Okay, we have to hit a decent one. These ones aren't good. That one was good. Let's go. We made it all the way to the other side. Zombie? Go to bed. There's our boy. I'm going to use this spot till I take it away. It's honestly way too good to not use. And we found out last time we played, the only things that can hit us are dogs coming from this side. Uh, elites can get us too, but we got to really look out for the zombies coming on the other side. So if they get close, they can knock us real quick. But holy crits, this spot is so nice. All right, disciple. Get out of here. Let's ring a fire. We can kill the abomination. Never mind. He knocked us right off the bridge. What the hell, dude? Let's wait right here for a second. And then we go up. It really just took us right out of our ring of fire. Like a dickhead. I guess it works out. No, it doesn't because now he's hitting me. Stop hitting me. Disciple. How many times I got to tell you? All right, abomination. It's your turn to die. Almost there. Just be a good boy. There we go. This is honestly so cracked. Absolutely not fair. What's in the jack-o-lantern? A mimic. Where's the mimic? in the ground get teabag too idiot wait i heard a mangler spawn manglers are a danger to our life up here uh, i can't resist getting the crits though there he is slow him down and kill him easy oh there's threshold 1500 crits we have a thousand to go i'm sure that'll come real fast over here oh my god another pause moment i hear another mangler i don't see him oh he's right there no he knocked me off no oh we made it back up we're, we're completely safe the zombies went back to dicking around. But that is scary. So if you get knocked off from the spot, you have about two seconds, not even, to decide what you're going to do to stay alive. Because all the zombies in the whole round are standing right in the same spot. So you're instantly just getting bombarded. I'm so glad there's a spot like this just to end the game. This is just effortless camos. This is all I really want. Holy crits. All right, I have 1,125 crits right here. Now watch this. Oh my Lanta. How many now? We literally just added 25 and got our rotten camo. Let's go. I wonder if the rounds are faster here or if they're faster like at spawn. I'm sure pizza room is still the fastest place, but that spot's probably not very good for crits considering zombies like jump down onto your head. I would think this spot's faster than spawn because all the zombies go to one place, but are the spawns faster? They kind of seem a little further away. I don't even need to shoot full auto. Oh, there's two pups. 
Goodbye, Pops. Disciple. You can also leave. Uh-oh. Got him. A Krieg is not too bad in zombies. It's pretty nice, actually. I don't know if it's a top-tier AR, but it does not do bad. Especially not in a god spot. Mimic. Come on, dude. Get out of here. Oh, a Tempest. I don't think Tempest have any knockback, so I'm not too concerned. This is what peak gameplay looks like. You might not like it, but this is it. It's not only peak gameplay, but this is also peak efficiency. With the amount of crits we need to get, this almost feels like a Dark Aether in one game. Because we still have a lot to go, I'm pretty sure. We're at 1,338. I should have checked when I said that we needed 1,000 to see how many we needed. Or like what number we were at, so we'd know exactly when we were close to getting done. Oh, Mangler, no. Bad Mangler. All right, I'm taking it right to you. Goodbye. We gotta kind of loop around here. Let's go through the Deadshot building. That's easy enough. Up the rope, and we're back home. Is there another abomination? Yep, I can see it. Ah, you can't shoot me through the fence, idiot. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, he knocked me off. Almost died there because I didn't see that zombie. Abomination, say goodbye. Go ahead, Abomination. Did it die? Did I kill it? I can't tell. It's invisible. Oh, I think it is dead. Well, you had a real nice run there, Abomination. Any manglers around? Not seeing any. There is a disciple though, so he'll die. Hey, off me. I wonder if hacks are made based off of like any kind of pre-existing code in the game. Like, could somebody somehow hack like Cold War on console and just give yourself like deadshot attributes or deadshot aim assist in multiplayer? The kind of head snapping that deadshot gives is very very similar to hacking and if this was in multiplayer and the code's already in the game isn't it theoretically possible to do that i don't promote hacking by any means i i'm just curious on uh, on the logistics of it like is there hacks already made by call of duty every time it's a mimic every time but our crits to eliminations have stayed so so close only 210 behind 117. Like, that is a nice margin to have. This is actually so easy. This is so stupidly easy. If you need camos, now's the time to do them. Just right here. This is the best spot in the game. Oh, chemical camo. We're done with pack-a-punch. I'm pretty sure our pack-a-punch was slightly behind our crits and... Our crits are just slightly behind our eliminations, so... We might get Gold Viper here within the next round, hopefully. Oh, that play count kind of scared me. Holy shit. Right as I turned, it was pouncing at me. That was literally a jump scare. Speaking of jump scares, I think it'd be cool if they added like uh, the Warzone like loot box jump scares to this. And it might be a little too late now, but that would have been a nice touch. I feel like zombies really is not scary at all. Like as a kid, whatever you'd see zombies, like somebody playing zombies, you're like, holy shit, that's kind of scary. But now it's just like, it's, it's whatever. I don't know if it's because I'm a fucking grown man now or if zombies have just really lost that that atmosphere so i hope in vanguard it gets a lot creepier and scary and more atmospheric up the rope hello zombie goodbye let's get this mangler he does not like to have fun please die okay this tempest doesn't like to have fun either but this mangler for sure doesn't no shooting okay we didn't fall off even though he shot us tempest please do me a favor and fuck off Thank you. Come on. How many more could we possibly need? I feel like we got to be super close. We had like 900. What, like what's going on here? I have 1700 crits. Did we get gold viper? I didn't notice. There's no way, right? Maybe we'll get it this round. Then it'll be perfect. We can exfil. All right, let's make this quick. Ring of fire. Show me gold viper right now, please. And right about now. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Oh, there's abomination. Please die. Stop shooting me, abomination. Not cool. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Abomination. Okay, run over there. Don't hit me with your tail, dickhead. And Gold Viper, come on, please. Right here, Gold Viper. Gold Viper now. No, I must be missing something. Because we have 1,800 crits. What's the hold up here? Are our crits not counting? Does this spot not count for crits? Oh, I swear if they did some sneaky stuff, like, yeah, we're not going to fix the zombies. We're going to make it so camos don't count in that spot. Can you imagine? What if they made crits obsolete in this spot? That'd be a whole move. All right, now I'm confused. Even more so. Where's that gold viper at? Because all of our pack-a-punch are done. All of our normal kills are done. We're done with jackrabbits. We're done with we're done with crits, like in a quick amount of time or whatever it is. But are we done with our our just normal crits? And if not, why? So I feel like I had a decent amount. Our exfil window is so gonna close. Yeah, our exfil's closed now. So that's cool. No exfil here. We're gonna have to get it up to 2,500 crits. I can't believe I can't remember how many crits I had coming in. I felt like we had less than 2,000 to get. This is a crit conspiracy. Get off me. I must have missed it. This is absurd. Okay, we're at 2,000 crits now. 
I had to have at least have 500 crits coming into this, right? There's a level up. Is that gold viper then? Dead eye slaughter. Gold viper. Let's go. We did it. That is another AR down. Oof. I was starting to get concerned there. I was like, dang. So it must have been 500 crits we came in with. Look at all these pumpkins. Hello. And a crystal axe. You know what? We'll try the crystal axe right here. We'll see if it's worth it to use. So I can hit zombies from across the bridge like that. When they're piled up, can I hit them? That's the real question. I don't think so. Oh, we unlocked the side. Let's go. But we can wait till they're piled up and then do our little throwable. All right, they're somewhat piled up. Let's back away from the side there. Oh, easy kills. All right, that was fun. I'm back to using the ray gun. You know what? Actually, bring a fire on the Krieg. Let's just try to get to round 41 as fast as possible. I'm down to nade him too. Fuck it. We'll just do whatever gets these rounds done faster. Probably going down won't, won't do that. So let's not do that. Crystal Axe, go. I want that. I want that Gersh. Let me get it. Let's get that Gershy, Gershy. Okay, two rounds. We can last two rounds. Tempest, not the place for you to spawn. Hate to break it to you. Zombie, get off of me. Oh, Abomination, what's up, pal? Oh, that's what's up. You're just gonna knock me off, huh? Let's go up on a Tuesday. Bring a fire. I forgot the Abomination was here, honestly. It literally just knocked me down and I forgot it was here. Where are you at, pal? This is just for you. Good night. Kill an Abomination while it still has three heads. Let's go. Easy calling card. I can shoot him through the floor of this. That's kind of cracked. All right, one more round so we can exfil. This should be a quick one. This might be the highest round we've gotten to on this account. I think round 40 is our is our highest. Because we've just been finishing guns a lot faster than, than we normally would. But now that we found out that leveling method, there's a lot more time to spend on these round-based maps. Mangler, you don't want the smoke, dude. Oh, Mangler. You really want to do that from down there? Bye, bitch. Oh, that's not the round. I thought it was. Still a little bit to go. There's another mangler somewhere. There he is. Here's what we will do. Gersh. Enjoy that. There's one zombie left. I'm going to run over here and buy more Gershes. There's two Gershes. I'll get another Semtex. Let's head down here. I should have killed him before he jumped down, but we can do that from right here. And let's start our exfil. We're out of here. Okay, last time I went all the way up the ropes to the main tower, then through the portal. I'm going to take the portal this time. I want to see if it feels faster. This way actually might be faster. Scare package, I want to open you, but I'm trying to test the speeds. Oh, maybe we can PhD. Let's make sure we slide our way there. Yeah, I think this portal might be faster. Going on top of Arcade gets you there a little quicker. Throwing some Gersh. Is. I'm gonna throw out my ring of fire and just slaughter this exfil. Combination's gone, though. You have 10 zombies left. Might as well use the death machine while we still have it. Six more. What's up with this guy getting stuck in here? Stop that. Get some help. Where's our last zombie? Oh, he's gone. Okay. Pick me up, Raptor 1. We're out of here. All right. Our final stats, 2,700 eliminations, 2,194 crits. That honestly didn't take as long as that normally would. And also, we went down one time. <laughs> that was at like round five, I think. Dang. We got a lot of crystals for that. Four flawless, 13 refined, in nine... Oh, wait. Four flawless, 13 raw, and nine refined. That's pretty good. All right. This is what the Krieg looks like with Gold Viper. Honestly, not that great a coverage. It's literally just the middle of the weapon. Everything else is just stock. So not that impressive. This is what it looks like with Plague Diamond. That's a lot better. Plague Diamond always has the better coverage. It almost looks like the mag is like off center to the right of the gun though. Just on that, that color difference there. A little weird. It's like a visual glitch almost. Like not even a visual glitch, like a, a, vi a optical illusion, I mean. And Dark Aether still has the same crap coverage. On it, wait, you, can you see that right here? Wait, where? Oh, I can't use my mouse. I forget. I'm on PlayStation. But... Towards the barrel of the gun, there's two little dots, almost like screws. You can see the Dark Aether camo flowing through. That's so weird. Why is it only there? Oh, well. Let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the Creek looks like with Gold Viper in game. It definitely looks better in game, like a lot of the weapons. The gunsmith doesn't do it too much justice, and uh, it definitely looks way more prominent once you're holding it. Because you're not, you don't really see the whole end of the barrel. I don't know. I feel like it would still look better if it stretched all the way across, but let's head over here, like we did last time, see if we can get a little better lighting. Oh, I thought something was growling at me. It's this thing on the map. What the hell? There, the, the gold's a little popping a little bit right here. Yeah, maybe there's even a better spot right there. This is good. Right here has really got it popping, glistening almost. But yeah, i uh, not really a fan of this camo. So we're going to see a whole lot of this until we start getting Plague Diamond, which could be next episode because I think we're doing the FFAR next. But make sure you leave your suggestions in the comments below because we will be doing that after the FFAR. Leave your map as well. But I think that's where I'm going to have to end the video. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.